over here. <laughs> We're on a mission we are. The wife sent me on a mission. She says she wants to make some dipped candles. So the bloke has to make himself a saucepan that's got a long, like a tool saucepan, I guess, a tool saucepan. Anyway, I was trying to work out how the bloody hell I'm going to make this thing for the lovely woman. So I thought, I reckon I've got a piece of old blooming irrigation pipe laying out at the farm somewhere. And just to save time, I went and found it before you guys turned up. So I'll go and get that. Just stay there for a minute. So I kind of thought... So that might make a really good. Mind you, it'd probably leak out the bottom just a tad, wouldn't it? <laughs> so first off, we have to plumb and square it up, cut it off, and then we're going to make ourselves a candle dipping saucepan. <laughs> Wherever I go, there just seems to be a big mess. <laughs> we'll just get rid of this. This is the fancy workbench out here on the farm. The fun thing about cutting a piece of round pipe is getting the blooming thing flat when you haven't got any think just perfect to do that is a rather interesting exercise and this wasn't my effort by the way this is what well, although it might have been but anyway I can't remember but it doesn't really matter because <laughs> when you're cheating on the farm and you got you got a fitting this thing slides in and it doesn't really have to be too bloody square but so I was trying to work out how the heck am I going to measure the pipe and make a nice round circle to track to when I want to cut it off. I come up with this idea and I don't know whether this is my idea or someone else's but I thought if I got a rubber band and stuck around the pipe and then I get my tape measure and I measure it all and then I'll get my texture and draw around where the rubber band is. Have a black line and then I'll get my angle grinder and zap it off and should be all tickety-boo. What do you reckon? I reckon that'll work. I guess if it doesn't work, you won't be getting any dipped candles, will you? <laughs> so, well, well, you probably will. The wife will go out and just buy it or something that she really does want. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but we're going to have to go in the shed and see if we can find a tape measure. That'll be the next thing. I guess if we can't find a tape measure, we'll just get a bit of stick and use that. <laughs> that might be easier anyway. <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Here's one I prepared earlier. He's a bit of a budget tape measure, but I guess at least it's got lines on it. Hope you brought a texture with you, lad. Otherwise, that'll be a problem. I like to see you try and scratch a knife. Oh, God. Scratch your knife on a bit of steel and see if you can make a mark. Oh, tell me we didn't bring one. In true Bush B Man style, we're gonna have to go and steal a texture off me mother instead of me wife. <laughs> go on. Bloody hell! Oh, didn't you bring something, lad? I thought I had one of them. Ah! Shit! I got a pen! Ah. That's not gonna help me, is it? Maybe there's one in the cupboard. Otherwise, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> I had one the other day, so surely I didn't take it home. You don't normally have a texture too often. Bloody hell. If it doesn't matter where I go, it's always a confusion. <laughs> what do you reckon, folks? Will we send the cameraman in to steal a texture? Oh my god. Be like me daddy used to paint his tools yellow so he'd know if I nicked it. <laughs> Would you like me to go and ask? I think you might have to. She's she's a bit sweet on you. She might let you get away with it. <laughs> You'd probably drive me out with a broom. <laughs> no. Here you go. Ah, look at that. Oh, he says, a good mum. Did you put Jean's pen on it? <laughs> I'll bet you there was a caution. Anyway, back to my excitement. The plan is to measure the band 
at the same length. The wife reckons 50, but there's nothing left. But I'm just gonna make it 52 just to excite her. Do you reckon she'll notice it two centimeters too long? Don't think it's gonna matter too much. Well, it'd be 52 centimeter candles, won't they? <laughs> anyway, if you're really smart, you can jolly well um, hold your texture on the two and do a circle, but you know, I'm not that clever, so this is my plan. Because I've tried to cut pipes, big pipes like this before with my little angle grinder and you end up with that never quite comes up true. And the worst thing if you've ever cut a pipe is when you try to correct the fact that it's crooked and that's just, that's just impossible. <laughs> it's just like you end up, you end up with a terrible mess. So I thought, well this might be a good idea because I need a really, a fairly flat surface. Because obviously we're going to have to put a base in this fancy tool saucepan that we're about to make. I guess if I was a proper engineer, I'd just have a great big saw that just goes zoop. You know, I wouldn't have to go to all this trouble, wouldn't I? Or if I wasn't such a scab ass, I could take it to the engineer and he could go zoop. But anyway, I'm just hoping that ends square, otherwise it'll be a bit bloody messy, won't it? I reckon it's a, it looks pretty square. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Anyway, I reckon that's pretty good. Oh, so we'll just stand her up and have a bit of a look at it. See what we think. I think that looks pretty good. We'll put a circle around there. And we'll see whether we can make a nice straight line under this rubber band. If nothing else, at least it'll meet up. Look at the long way around, isn't it? It's a bigger pipe than you think. There we go, look at that. Cool. Now, Mother, I've given the texture back to John, so if you never find it again, it wasn't me. <laughs> I reckon that's going to be all right. It's not, oh, no, no, it's not fucking fabulous, but that'll be all right. So my plan is I'll get the angle grinder and we'll follow that little line across there. And whoosh! And hopefully we'll have a nice flat end and then we can put a base on it. If we can find a base to put on it, that'll be the next thing. But anyway, one thing at a time. Let's not overthink it. Oh. Oh. Don't kneel on the ground when you roll, by the way. <laughs> Righty up. Check. Actually, maybe it better go that way so it doesn't roll anywhere. <laughs> right, ready now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there in internet land and you're cutting a thick bit of round steel, you don't want to go getting all excited and cutting right through the whole thing straight away. You want to do a bit of a score mark and then go round and round until you then start cutting through it. Well, that's been my experience, but I'm sure if you're... Anyway, that's what I reckon. That's what I recommend to do. And don't forget to put your safety glasses on. Now, that'd surprise you, wouldn't it? Tell you what, though, if you get a metal spark in your eye, you'll know about it. So put your safety glasses on. Oh, well, anyway, that's if you're silly enough to do this. <laughs> Patience is a virtue when it comes to cutting bits of thick steel. Hopefully I don't cut my leg off. Well, I reckon that's pretty successful. Um, we're just gonna take that back to our little joint and weld her all together, so. Stay on, stay on deck, we'll be there in a minute. Oh, come on, some bloke should put the wheels back on this welder. Honestly. <laughs> oh, it's me. <sighs> That's so heavy. The things I do for candle making, I tell you what. I hope we've got an extension cord out here. <laughs> Carefully placed on the floor. <laughs> I wonder if we put the earth clamp on the bench. That might work. What do you reckon about that for a thing? Or a thought? Or oh, I had a thought about thinking. Maybe that's where that crazy bit of metal was for once upon a time. Was that maybe been the earth clamp holder on a machine? But I don't think so. I don't even know what that jig's for. I've said that before though, haven't I? Rightio, here we go. We've got a bit of pipe. So we're gonna pop that on the bench. Actually, before we do too much else, we might actually grind that jolly lip out of there. Oh, that's going to be fun trying to clean that, isn't it? 
I think I'll grind it off and make it smooth. So then it's a nice smooth pot. Hello! Hello, 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 hello. Nah, not really. <laughs> it's not that long. So we don't know, but I think I'm going to have to take that safety cover off. And I'm sure that's not a really good idea, but I should know how else to get it in there. I don't reckon you're actually allowed to do this, are you? That's not really an Allen key, by the way, just in case you're wondering. That's a pair of pliers, so, you know, I do know that much. Don't bother emailing me and saying, that's not an Allen key, you stupid wagger. <laughs> like the whole ballpoint hammer drama. Not really sure what the hammer's meant for if you're not meant to hammer with it, but anyway. Not to worry. <laughs> goes on with that. Does that not come off? And if that comes off there, that can go off there. Back on again. That was it way up now. I'll do it back up. Now if you're in the metalwork class at school, don't do this alright? Because you'll get bloody told off. <laughs> I'd never do. Don't tell them that I said you could do this. I'm sure Mr Wiggly would not be impressed. He would have said Mr. Nico, off to detention with you. You can't be doing that. You dangerous young fellow. Rah! Mr. Wiggly was the metalwork teacher, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> Probably should be nobody knows the troubles I've caused, really, isn't it? Wouldn't that go? Nobody knows the troubles I've caused. But now they do because there's thousands of you out there watching me make all this stuff happen. Okay, boys and girls, now we need a base for our pot. Bloody hell, they're going to be long candles. Goodness gracious me. Whew. Oh, golly gosh. I'm just going to, I'm going to scratch my bench a bit to get a bit of an earth. And it's going to be our saucepan base. So we'll give that a bit of a tickle up. Hopefully. Hang on. <laughs> we better make sure the bloody thing's the right size. Otherwise that's really going to suck if it's not big enough. That looks acceptable to my little way of thinking. I think before we do anything else stupid, we'll put the cover back on. But we don't need the cover to be off, and this is when you cut your fingers off, <laughs> isn't it? When you continue on, to be safe, <laughs> I've disconnected the power. Because you can just imagine if you flick the wrong button and you had your hand on that bit. Oh jolly, wouldn't it be a bit of excitement? There'd be bits of flesh flying everywhere. <laughs> has to go that way, doesn't it? Face all backwards. Saves you getting all the sparks on you and all. Put your disc back on. Put it all back together. Oh, all right. Now we'll plug ourselves back in. Tidy up this bit of steel so that everything looks pretty. Right, that looks nice and clean. What we've got to do now is make ourselves a um, leak-proof seal. That should be entertaining. Everybody's thinking, we've seen this bloke's welding before, haven't they? <laughs> God, the chances of this being possible. Well, let's see. <laughs> I bought me trusty old art welder, so I've got old school, because the jolly MIG welder, I haven't got any gasless wire and that little funny MIG welder, I can't get that stupid thing to work, so. Well, it does work, but it just looks pig ugly, so. Mind you, I better not say too much because this might look pig ugly and all, might not it? So let's not get too carried away. Run a bead of weld around here or two or three or 10 until it doesn't leak. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. Do you reckon that's gonna happen? Do you reckon? Anyway, we'll see. I guess it's not a big financial commitment if it doesn't work. 
Just the missus won't be happy because you'll have to have short ass candles. I said you could stick them together. Apparently that's not proper candle making, so she said, you can just go back to getting the wax ready for me and leave the candle making to me. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see about that. Right, here we go, to see what sort of trouble we can get into. Very strong. We might have to turn this up. Hang on. Stop it! Ugh. Don't think much of my chipping hammer. <laughs> So we can just give it a little tidy up now. This is a bit of a layered process, this is. You gotta make a few goes at it. Get the right end would be good. <laughs> get the go end. I was thinking I should get motivated and find the other power cords so I don't have to unplug and plug everything back in all the time. Are we ready? Bim, bidim, 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 bidim. <laughs> We've made a kettle. <laughs> Pretty good to me. I can't see it in too many leaks. And there's still water in there. Wow, oh, it's a bit hot still. <laughs> we might just wait a minute until it cools down. I might just get one more jug of water and then we'll tip that in there to cool it off. Because I think it's superheated the water at the minute. That's a bloody big hole, isn't it? <laughs> Let's cool it off a bit. How do you do? Can you, oh, hang on, there's a little leak there. There's just a little bit of moisture there. It's not really leaking, but it's just a bit too much for my liking. So we'll give that a little zap. Sick of beekeeping, we can always turn it into a, like a military factory. I mean, this looks like a bloody big shelf in the back of a tank. Well, I reckon that's pretty good. We'll just nip that off. Well, I'll tip the water out. I won't pick it up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just wondering whether that's weeping there. Perhaps I was just getting ambitious. So we might, um, we might do one more. We'll do another lap. Don't really want to face the wrath of the candle maker if bloody all the wax leaks on her floor. <laughs> Would not be happy with me, I don't think. <laughs> pleased to see it anyway. I kind of think that was an insult somehow, but you know, it was one of those clever insults. You know, we're not 100% sure. But anyway, a blind man would be pretty pleased to see anything though, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, back to the water test. The 
tall chamber pot. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't leak too much this time. Suck of a leak worse, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's looking pretty good. What do you reckon in there? So we'll just zap these corners off so as we're safety first. And then we'll be done, I reckon. So I'll just tip this bit of water out so grinders and water is not a good idea. You could go boop! across the bottle it makes a noise Ooh, but anyway I'm thinking you'd want to be a giant to make this one work <laughs> anyway I reckon we're up to speed so we might just have to see if we can find some wicks and some weights and and some wax I don't know I think the wax hidden the wax so I don't know what that is but we'll go and have a bit of a peekaboo and um yeah who knows see we might be able to make you some candles stay tuned